Meanwhile, the man himself, Dato Sri Palanivel, is confident of retaining his post come the September 1st party presidential polls. He says there won't be a powerful challenger for the post and that the real contest would lie with the vice president position as well as the working committee posts. There could be a contest for the vice presidents. Deputy president also there won't be a contest because there won't be a powerful challenger. You know? So even for president there won't be a powerful challenger. So things look good. But for vice presidents there could be some contest. For working committee I think more people will be coming in. A prominent MIC veteran who spoke on condition of anonymity told Banama recently, Deputy MIC President and Health Minister Datuk Sri Dr. S. Subramaniam seemed to be planning to mount a serious challenge for the post. If he should decide to stand down, the compromise will pave the way for Datuk Palanivel to remain president. The Natural Resources and Environment Minister took over the party helm after his predecessor, Datuk Sri S. Velu, stepped down in December 2010. Any leader intending to contest for the president's post will have to obtain 50 nominations, with each nomination getting the support of six branch chairmen, with over 4,000 branch chairmen eligible to vote.